ridiculousness, I've decided to try to do a vlog. There's no really credentials that I have that would make me successful at being a vlogger. I don't really know much about it. I did go on the internet and try to find successful vlogs and I, and I came up with five things that you need to have a successful vlog. The first one is a vlog name. Now I've managed to do that, I'm calling it uh, That Girl Tyson. Two, you need a vlog channel. Three, you need a cute accent. I don't have a cute little accent. Number four, you need some sort of talent, musical talent, acting talent. You can write poetry, you can rap, you can beatbox, something that's gonna draw people to come and watch you. I don't have that stuff. Five is uh, you need to be able to have something interesting to say and be able to articulate that to the public in an accessible and entertaining manner. If you've ever read my blog, you would know that there's no rhyme or reason to it, it's just kind of personal thoughts and there's no real pattern and it's kind of nilly nilly and that's probably how my vlog is gonna be. Other things that you will probably hear about my book. I wrote a book. It's called Seeking Eleanor. I'm in the process of trying to get it published. I am querying agents and getting rejected. Actually, I didn't just write one book. I wrote four books. Don't really know what to do them. They pretty much just keep up my coffee table. I rest my drinks on them a lot. Other things you will probably hear about music. I'm a big music nerd. You'll probably also hear about my dog. His name's Oliver and he's pretty amazing. Look at that face. Who doesn't love that face? My cat? His name is Etni. He's a huge jerk. He attacked my mom. Yep, he attacked her. You'll probably be hearing a lot about this guy because this guy is pure evil. Books. You will most likely be hearing about books because I love books. I love to read them. I love to put them on my bookshelves. I love to smell them. Some fabulous finds. There's this book called Sprinkle Brigade Volume 1, New York State of Mind. If you can see this, this is a no dog pooping here. Inside this lovely, delightful little book, there are pictures. Pictures of poop that people have found in New York. And they have named them. This one is called Endless Summer, and it is the poop in a bikini. This was given as a gift to someone. I, I love the fact that somebody thinks this is an appropriate gift. It's just, that's perfection to me. Anyways, that's one of my fabulous finds for this week. I have another one. Chuck Klosterman. If you don't know who Chuck Klosterman is, you probably should go Google him because he is this writer who just blows my mind. He came up with these cards and they're called hypotheticals and there's 50 cards in here and they ask questions. It's basically a way to avoid making small talk. But banquet of lovers. Every person you have ever slept with is in this is invited to a banquet where you are the guest of honor. No one will be in attendance except you, the collection of your former lovers in the catering service. After the meal, you are asked to give a 15-minute speech to the assembly. What do you talk about? I read this question with my sister and my mom. My sister didn't know what she would say. I said, thank you for all coming. <laughs> so that's another fabulous find. What came in the mail? The Outsiders. I remember reading this book when I was in grade 8, and I read this book probably 3 million times. That's probably, I'm rounding up, but it's probably about 3 million times. I know a lot of you people might be smirking about The Outsiders. You might have read it in grade 8, and you might have been like, oh man, I either hated that book, or oh man, I really love that book. Well, if you hated that book, you have no taste. The movie, on the other hand, is also amazing. It is the epitome of cool. You have Patrick Swayze, you have Rob Lowe, you have Matt Dillon. On top of that, you have Emilio Estevez and a Mickey Mouse t-shirt. It's just, it's a beautiful movie. Uh, also in the mail this week I got Jack Kerouac's uh, The Dharma Bums. I actually have not read this book. I do like the beatnik writers and this is going to the top of the pile. Another thing in the mail this week. I have a lot of weird crap around my house. And I'm going to try to show you some of that weird crap. I have a Chucky doll. My dad gave this to me. As far as all the serial killer horror movie guys go, Chucky is hilarious. He has a purple mouth. Be prepared to see uh, weird things I have around my house in the next video. And I will be finishing off each blog with uh, something I learned from Urban Dictionary. This week there are two terms that I use, I've learned. I uh, learned 
power disking. So you're, say you're watching a season of um, Dexter and you power through all those discs. That's called power disking. And the next one is acropella. So you're singing aloud and you have headphones on and uh, your singing's crap, but you get the pleasure of the music and everybody else around you only gets your acropella. Yes. And we all know when you have headphones on, you don't sound good. No. No one does. Okay, so that was my first vlog. I mean, it was virtually painless. I will say here, right now, I will try to post every Friday. Could be wishful thinking. We'll see. And hopefully uh, my next post will go up next Friday. That is, unless I procrastinate and find something else to do in this time. Uh, hopefully I will see it again next week. And, and I really dig it if you could subscribe and pass the word along and leave me some comments. All right, so that is it. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations, all hands man your battle stations. You have to love that face.